Hello everyone, this is Marathon Films here with another movie review on Jason Bourne, which is the recent Bourne film in the franchise. Now, this film was re directed by Paul Greengrass and was re released on July 29th, 2016. And when, during its opening weekend, it made number one with a total of $59,215,365. And later on, when it was released worldwide, it made $415,484,914. That includes domestic and foreign releases as well. And Paul Greengrass, who is the director of this film, has done has worked with the Bourne franchise before. He's done the Bourne Supremacy and the Bourne Ultimatum. He did not do the Bourne Legacy. And he's also done two other films while doing when he was filming the Bourne franchise. He's done the September 11th uh, documentary-like film, United 93, which is based off of the events of the fourth hijack plane during September 11th. And he's also done Green Zone. And this film stars Matt Damon and Tommy Lee Jones and Tommy Lee Jones. And as this film starts out, it's a decade after the events of the Bourne Ultimatum, where the black the group Blackbriar no longer exists and has disappeared. And while this happens, Bourne is recovering from amnesia, and then he later is, you know snapped into it when he was in a boxing match with, you know, other wrestlers. And, and as he's recovering, he starts having, you know, wonders about, you know, because the CIA is after him now and he's still on the run. And as he, he, he has a, there's a great, like, chase scene throughout the Athens scene where there's like a big, like, you know, um, activist group you know throughout that and the CIA is also after him as this activist group is running amok throughout Athens and he is later hunted down by a guy named by a guy named Dewey who is also known as the a assets uh, assets um, for the CIA trying to well, he's secretly, he, we think he's working for the CIA, but later on, he's not. He's just trying to kill Bourne. So as this happens, you know, the, he's try, they're both trying to run, Bourne's trying to run away from the CIA and the you know, government after him. And he's just going through, like, you know, Germany, you know, he's going overseas, he, and then he finally makes it to Las Vegas, where everyone else is also, the CIA is hunting down Bourne. And, li and while during this, Bourne finds... Bourne is wondering about his past, about his father that got killed in a explo car explosion. Later, he finds out that Dewey was the one behind it, and he starts fighting Dewey and try and trying to hunt him down. And you know, he just wants he just has questions about his past. Where, um, where and the CIA opens a file call, opens the case of Bourne the Bourne Chase and his past known as Treadstone and they try to hunt him down well, and as they hunt him down the CIA has a brief meeting discussion in Las Vegas where all the characters head down there. Bourne heads down there, Dewey heads down there, everyone's in Las Vegas because the CIA is recruiting a couple people and as the CIA is having these recruitments going on uh, Dewey manages to fire a shot on one of the recruitment guys in the shoulder, I believe, with the collarbone on his shoulder, and Bourne shoots back at him, right beside, like skins him, skids him almost, and everyone thinks, oh, there's the shooter, Bourne's the shooter, so he's, you know, having the CIA run after Bourne, and he's trying to go after Dewey, and then also Tommy Lee Jones' character, who's the director of the CIA, goes back to his suite, Bourne runs up there and, you know, meets him face to face, and Tommy Lee Jones' character is killed by uh, some female, that, some girl that was helping Bourne out. But then she, and she later, fight, then another CIA agent gets shot too. So then Bourne chases Dewey out of the Las Vegas hotel, the casino, and an awesome car chase happens where 
Dewey is in a police SWAT car and Jason Bourne is in a black, I forgot, a black car, a black car, I'm not sure, I think it was like a Chevy or something. And it's an awesome car chase, tell you what, it is an awesome car chase. And as this chase pursues, they later, you know, crash in front of the parking garage where Dewey runs and escapes while Bourne is trying to get on his heels and go after him. And as they meet face to face, they have a big fist fight. Where, and then later Bourne kills Do Dewey and then later on Bourne is you know calm he's you know forgets about his past and moves on while the CIA asks him hey would you like a position or you know would you like a position with us and he's he walks away saying I'll think about it and then that's when the end of the film happens so that could lead to a possibility of another film but there's just some talk about that that I'll, I'll get to in this video as well. So, during this filming, the Las Vegas car scene, believe it or not, took five weeks to shoot from sunset to sunrise. It was an overnight, you know, car chase scene on the Las Vegas Strip. They wrecked 170 cars, and it's when you I've seen the like the behind the scenes of it, it is really cool like the different how they had the camera position how they did the you know different angles the aspects of it it was just amazing and then as this film was going on Matt Damon realizes that he's getting it's getting harder for him to stay physically in shape and physically able to be the character of Jason Bourne he says after this I don't think he don't think he's going to be able to be Jason Bourne anymore so, and also he's in his 40s, or right now probably going close to mid 40s. And yeah, Matt Damon just said, so the Born franchise is probably just going to end soon. I don't know how close. And there are many tracking shots within this film. Like, like a couple times you notice that the car chase, you know, Born running through the streets, you know so many tracking shots which is amazing and there's also many like many times where I noticed like watching the film there's a lot of handhelds of you know behind Jace, Jason walking behind him you know looking at, him, looking at him from behind you can tell it's a handheld shot following Jason and there's many dolly shots too which is basically on tracks and you're moving the camera toward with the character or with the card for example the card chase and you know, the many angles and camera shots are just great. And Paul Greengrass even comments, you know, he does everything he's done in the past. He tries to make it almost like a documentary style film, which he's done many documentaries within before even before this. And this franchise, to, just to my opinion, still well franchised. It's still a good franchise. I would highly recommend watching. The, before this one, watching all the Bourne movies, because it's like almost, they're almost like, you know, right at the end of each one, it's like there's, you know, they immediately start right after the end of the last one, which is pretty cool, like, Bourne Identity, then, you know, go straight to the Supremacy, then Ultimatum, Bourne Legacy is kind of on its own a little bit, and then Jason Bourne comes back from Bourne Ultimatum. So, yeah, the Bourne franchise, I highly recommend to see, even just one. Excuse me. And the, as of March 2017, and this is all I know, I don't know anymore, um, there is possibility of a sequel, another Bourne sequel coming out. But then it, Damon keeps giving these subtle hints to you know f fans and you know other people saying that he's he thinks that you know the Bourne franchise is dying down and people are just done with it completely as a whole which well to me being a somewhat of a born fan I think that the franchise is still good and it still has an impact and it, if we get another s film in I would say it'd be just like J this one it'd be kind of average an alright film and I think you know if they do another one I would wouldn't mind seeing it just my opinion so again, my opinion on Jason Bourne is it's a good film. Like I said, if you've seen the other three, then the Legacy, the fourth one, 
I would rec and you like him, I'd recommend you know Jason Bourne, but it's not as good as the other three. Excuse me, Bourne Legacy. Excuse me, Bourne Legacy is really just like almost a standalone. Like I don't know why it's related in this franchise, but still like. If you've seen all three of the others, like, those are a little bit better than this one, just in my opinion. So, I mean, I would say this would be worth seeing, but not, it's not a big deal if you don't see it that much. So, again, this, that was my review on Jason Bourne. Please leave a comment, like my video, subscribe to my channel, tell me what you think about Jason Bourne. Have you seen it and what you think of it? And also talk about, you know, the other films in the franchise. And again, this is Marathon Th Films. Thank you for watching my movie review.